so there's a couple of things I want to mention today. I promise to keep talking about judging and tests and thoughts about how to be a better judge and things like that. So I'm going to bring up a subject that I think is pretty important, and that's the well, there's so many judging things that are very important that I don't think get talked about enough. People don't say anything. Uh, the thing I wanted to mention today especially is the 3 Series Derby. I recently went to a derby that had only 3 Series. And there was no reason to not have a 4th Series. A couple of people mentioned to me, one lady in particular said, she, you know, she says, I feel like I got gypped. She says, I drove many miles to get here. I stayed in a motel. I paid a high uh, 80 or $90 entry fee. And I only got to run three series. Furthermore, they didn't have a winner. They had about eight people that thought they won. And then they, I don't know if they were flipping coins or how they figured out who won. But it wasn't really fair. So when you look at the rule book and it says that the dog should be tested equally on land and water and you have a three series derby with no big swims, no real test of the water part of it, I don't know what what uh, transpires in, in, in a judge's mind to have just three series. There are exceptions, like it's lightning and you can't, you have to bring your people in out of the field and tomorrow's the holiday and you, or a day that you can't possibly continue, then you have to do something like have a three series derby. But in a general way, um, if you can't figure out what to do, like this particular trial I'm thinking about, the judges say, oh, well, the sun's in our eyes. Uh, if you can't figure it out, it's a simple thing to just ask somebody else. Just say, the sun's in our eyes from this location. We've got this big, beautiful lake that we haven't used. Uh, can you give me a tip on maybe where I can go or where I can move to so I can finish this trial rather than call it off? Uh, after only three series. So <clears throat> that brings up another little slight topic. I think whenever you're judging, you set up a test, you look at it, it looks like a beautiful test. It's always a good idea to ask somebody that knows something. It doesn't have to be anything official, but you say, hey, I've got this test set up. Do you see anything there that's going to cause me grief that's not fair or that I didn't notice or something like that so that it's not just a test that you dream up it's a test that you studied and you've confirmed by somebody maybe standing around maybe somebody that's <clears throat> very knowledgeable so that you don't accidentally end up with a test that doesn't tell you anything uh, so try not to have a three series derby and make sure that the test you have has value. And you can find that out by just asking somebody. There's always some experienced person. Doesn't have to be the field trial committee. Just say, hey, uh, am I in trouble here? Uh, looks good to me, but is there something I haven't noticed? So keep those things in mind, please, if you're judging. Be humble about it. Read the rule book. I think my perception is that some people are judging and they haven't studied the rule book and that puts them in a difficult position. So that's my thought on a three series derby. Uh, also I want to mention that please go to my website billhillman.net and sign up to get notices when I do these blogs. A lot of people come up to me at trials and say, well, I, I didn't know you did that, or how do I... There's no cost to it. All you do is put in your email address so we can let you know when there's a blog post. 
So when you go to BillHillman.net, on the top right corner of the opening page, it says, if you want to get notified, put your email in. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is, as far as from a training point of view, how to keep balance when you're in competition. I have a lot of information on this right now because this dog right here has gotten out of balance because of continuous week after week trialing and there's a remedy for it I, I think at least I'm working on that and I want to talk a little bit about it so in the meantime get, get on my blog sign up for it free lots of information and plus have a great day.